breaking news, my country people. It's official. The EFCC has declared Yaya Belo wanted for offenses relating to economic and financial crimes to the tune of 80.2 billion naira. Guys, this is huge. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Now, the Economic and the Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, has declared the former governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello, wanted for offenses relating to economic and financial crimes to the tune of 80.2 billion naira. And the EFCC had made it known on its official bulletin that anyone with information as to his whereabouts should report immediately to the commission or to any nearest police station. But then, a federal high court in Abuja had adjoined the case against, against Yaya Bello to April 23rd. But before that, it was reported that the planned arraignment of Bello was stalled following his absence in court on Thursday. A counsel for the EFCC, who lamented Bello's absence from court for his arraignment, noted that the former governor, Bello, was being protected by someone with immunity, who prevented his arrest on Wednesday by whisking him away at his official vehicle. And at this point, all hands are on deck to you know fish out yaya bello so he can be arrayed even the military bello's lawyer had argued that yes the defendant yaya bello had secured an ex parte order from a high court restraining the anti-draft agency from arresting and prosecuting him but then he noted that the agency had appealed against the order at the court of appeal meanwhile justice a maker of the federal high court in abuja on wednesday had granted the efcc permission to arrest the embattled former governor. On Wednesday night, the FCC said it would on Thursday array Yaya Bello before the Abuja court over the alleged 80.2 billion uh, money laundering. However, the FCC lamented that it attempts to execute the warrant of arrest lawfully obtained by uh, the, the court you know, against Yaya Bello met stiff resistance on Wednesday. So it was said that uh, the current governor of Kogi State, Usman Ododo, had ensured that the suspect was whisked away in his official vehicle. So at this point, Yaya Bello must be brought to face the law because he is not above the law. He would be brought to justice as soon as possible, said the lawyer. So my country people, the FCC has officially declared Yaya Bello wanted over his crimes all the atrocities he has committed while he was in power as the governor of Kogi State is being investigated and now he's on the run. Yaya Bello is on the run, my country people. This is quite serious so and now the EFCC has said anybody that sees this man should bring in should bring him in because it has gotten to the extent that uh, the DSS, the Nigerian Immigration Service have placed Yaya Bello on watch list to stop him from, you know, fleeing abroad, to stop him from fleeing abroad, to stop him from, you know, leaving this country. And it is really, really sad that at this point, Yaya Bello is running. Why is he running? Why is he hiding? If he's innocent, then he should come out and, you know, uh, plead his case. But him running and hiding shows that he is guilty. You see, one thing with our politicians and our leaders in this country, they think they will remain in power forever. So they commit all forms of atrocities and they feel they will go scot-free. But that's not the case for Yaya Bello. Because him running and hiding would not solve anything. It would even increase. The problems on him would increase. So why not submit yourself to the EFCC like the former governor of Benue State, Samuel Autumn, did when the EFCC, you know, called him for questioning. He submitted himself. So why is he running? This is to show that he is guilty because he failed to appear in the Abuja High Court. First offense. Now he's running. And 
his political godson, who is now the, the, the governor of Kogi State, Usman Ododo, is protecting him. A lot of people are saying that the ESCC should go and check the government house because Yaya Bello is likely to be in the government house under the protection of the current governor. Now, the ESCC declaring uh, Yaya Bello wanted, when we know that he has not fled the country yet, is quite, you know, uh, unfortunate because at this point, the EFCC, they know what to do. And a lot of people are saying the EFCC knows what they are doing. How can they say they can't find Yaya Bello? It's obvious that they know what they are doing. Now, Nigerians have reacted to this. The EFCC should also declare the governor that came and rescued him, the judge that made the statement against his arrest, and all those that have been speaking in his favor wanted, not just Yaya Bello, if they are really serious. It seems that the EFCC are not serious. I believe the governor cannot be arrested by law, but he can be investigated. And at this point, I don't think the EFCC has are serious. He thought he was still in power when all manner of atrocities are committed. Now, they should go and check the government house in Kogi State. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. I am sure... Yeah, yeah, Belo never believed a day would come that the EFCC would be chasing after him. He never believed that it would come that the EFCC would be chasing after him, him running away from the EFCC. It's quite unfortunate. Truly, it's quite unfortunate that the Nigerian Immigration Service, the DSS, the Customs, have all placed Yaya Belo on watch list. This is to show that this man now has turned into a criminal because it's only a criminal that would be placed on watch list. So my country people, all these things is to prevent him from, you know, leaving the country through any land, air or sea borders. And at this point, the EFCC are working around the clock to make sure they bring him in for questioning and also to array him to court. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.